Okay, so we will we all have like we have five minutes to present a project, so I'll try to be really quick. Um, I'm going to talk about daily why. Um, if you're familiar with Venezuela, is where I'm from. We have a huge problem with inflation. Uh, even like so big that it's better to use the bills to make home decoration than to actually use them to, to pay for things. So um, a potential tool to help people to navigate uh, how they uh, interact with money is to give them access to digital dollars or, or to the US dollar. Right. So everyone in Venezuela wants a US dollar. It's increasingly necessary for life. Um, if you've studied how countries dollarize, uh, like for example, this happened in Zimbabwe, uh, this happens uh, often in places where, where there's a high level of inflation, it happened in Ecuador, I and mean, then it was formalized. Um, the US dollar kind of trickles down, um, it's like it, it, it becomes uh, the medium of exchange that, that, that's being used, and it's often, I mean, the, traditionally, the, the way this happens is uh, by the use of cash. Um, and so today, there are three ways that people can use uh, dollars in Venezuela, and none of them are quite ideal. Um, one is from permission systems like Zelle. Zelle is a system uh, that if you have a bank account in the US, you can transfer money from that account to other accounts in the US. So if you have uh, that privilege, uh, then you, you can access that, and then some stores in Caracas actually take Zelle as payment, even though it's not a payments app. It's not supposed to be used for that, but. Uh, and PayPal also falls into, the, it falls into this category. They used to have more lenient rules to allow more Venezuelans to, to access uh, PayPal, but uh, increasingly with the toughening of sanctions, this may not be a potential um, future where, where we, we, will, we will be able to have indefinite access to these platforms. Uh, there are others uh, where uh, there are other platforms where you can access US dollar and that they're difficult to use. Um, ATM, Uphold, um, and then there's um, the unsafe way to do it, which is uh, cash. Um, and then in Venezuelans, um, people have phones uh, with Android 4.1, so it's very old phones, and they're already used to using digital dollars. So one, one of the things that like, I try to build this for, uh, I think it, it makes sense for Venezuela because it, it, like, it's already very easy and a very, um, it's very familiar to people to transact using phones and or like at least using uh, digital uh, transactions. So um, what we built is an open source framework to accelerate digital dollar products. Uh, and it looks like this, it's a, it's a GitHub repo and it, it has a React Native uh, open source wallet that runs on very old phones and is actually very, very hard to do. Uh, so all credit to the developers because I was only just coordinating the project. Um, and. Uh, the, there is a way to send and receive, and these, these are DAI uh, using the XDAI chain because it's, it's a little faster. So, uh, the way I'm going to quickly show how it works on that too while it's running here. So, we have a, a pin for security, um, uh, for the physical security, in this case, someone like grabs your phone. It's not so easy to, to get the money out. So, you want to send $2, and uh, it takes a while in part, in part because uh, the phone is old and in part because the connection is not so good. Um, but of course these things uh, could be and should be improved. So you have a QR code so you can, you can paste into it or, or you can send to a contact like it. And ideally we would use channels that people already use. So if you want to send money to a friend that you already have on WhatsApp, you can do it very easily and then just do it through a payment link. So. Here you go, you get the link, and then ideally, again, when you click on the link, uh, the app opens, but this is something that doesn't work on every Android version, and something that we need more help with to like make, make sure that it, is, uh, uh, it works out of the box. Right? So here, you redeem $2, to die. Um, then also, the idea is to use the, the term dollars rather than die, so that people know what it is, uh, most people don't know what die is, and then, um, I'm going to talk about uh, the applications that I see for this uh, because this is, again, it's an open source product uh, that I encourage people to build upon, but it's not a fully fledged solution that is going to revolutionize Venezuela, not on its own. Um, what I think uh, what we should do like, going forward is to build on this. So I'm going to just quickly say this was built by this like, team of awesome devs. Uh, the first version was with, uh, built by Mikhail, and then the second version was built by uh, Bridge and these guys. And then it's probably sponsored by Maker and by NSX. 
Um, if you want to help us test it, I'm going to give you a $5 link and it's an Excel link, so just reach out to me on Telegram. And then what I really want uh, you to get out of this is that you can build on top of, of this uh, framework. And uh, for example, Reserve uh, has a, um, an app that lets Venezuelans buy and sell uh, dollars. And if they could also allow them to transact using this network, for example, they could integrate that into, this into their app. And also Value is another company that's, uh, that's allowing people to send money uh, between, for, between Colombia and Venezuela. And then if they allow to send the money into uh, digital dollars, that would be also great. So like, uh, companies like these that have products that are targeted to Venezuelans, they could use uh, these, uh, this open source framework to improve their products. So, thank you.